Uh, my name is Valerie Lacine, and I've been overcoming for less than a year. This time last year, I was going through treatment. The biggest one for me is, and I've got my letter here, E, um, <laughs> early satiety and fullness. Um, that was definitely the first sign where I thought, man, something's not right here. I, for me, um, I noticed, I mean, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't eat, um, all day long. Um, I would just be able to take a few bites. Um, and just the feeling of fullness was so extreme, um, that it was, um, I kind of thought, I had the, feel, the thought like, will I ever be able to eat normally again? I mean, I didn't know obviously that anything here was going on because, you know, um, the symptoms are very quiet sometimes um, for ovarian cancer. Um, so, um, you know, I, I remember um, being on a, a late trip uh, for my son's uh, fishing tournament and uh, not being able to eat the whole weekend and then just going home and saying something, something's not right. Like this is just not this, something's going on here. I guess women, you know, we're so busy as moms, we're busy. And, um, you know, looking back at it, I keep saying, I, I just, um, you know, um, I feel like it, and even with maybe a few other symptoms that I was having, you know, I thought that wasn't even like me to go to the doctor right away. You know, I would have just said, Oh, let me see if this is going to go on for a few more months, you know? And, um, yeah, putting that voice in your head and you've, you've got to listen and, you know, um, be your own advocate, you know. I had a hard time coming out with that one. Um, you know, I live on a hunting ranch, um, so we grow deer, we grow exotic animals, like, um, like we do, you know, I, it's normal for me, right? You know, like that's just normal, I guess. Um, I feel like, you know, um, maybe a lot is not known about ovarian cancer. I mean, I certainly didn't know much about it. You know, I had a history of breast cancer in my family, and I think there's so much awareness for breast cancer, which I think is wonderful. It's very important, you know? Um, but when it comes to ovarian cancer, I mean, I certainly never thought that that, you know, when I had this symptom that it could, it could be that, you know? I mean, it, it took me completely off guard. Um, I think it's important that there is awareness um, for uh, the symptoms, um, for the disease. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult cancer to have, you know? It's, it's um, and you know, any type of awareness that we have um, uh, can, can get the word out about is um, extremely important, you know? Um, yeah, I feel like so much emphasis is placed on other types of cancers, which we we all we all need. To, you know, we're susceptible in many many areas um, as women, and some of us who are genetically predisposed. You know, um, and the thought is always breast cancer, but um, we need to be aware of okay, ovarian cancer and the symptoms, and they can save your life. You know. Um, Definitely. Yeah, going to the right doctor that just said, you know, like I could have gone to a different doctor, and they would have maybe dismissed it, you know, um, everything lined up perfectly. And, and I saw the perfect, it's in, in my opinion, the per like that was so relatable, you know, a little, um, thing that said, you know, ovarian cancer speaks, you know, whispers, listen carefully. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to, to catch as well. You know, I had a friend, um, a good friend that's a doctor and, you know, he said, you know, it's one of my biggest fears is like, you know, ask, you know, what, what were you, what were you experiencing? You know, it's, I feel like that that's that one that is so difficult to, um, to diagnose or to catch, you know, because sometimes, you know, there's some of the symptoms just mock something else. Right. So thank y'all for everything that you're doing for awareness.